I'd like to go on record as saying this. Right now, it's a, a fad. It's a current fad to put cameras on cops. They're hanging them actually on the cop's uniform or they're putting them on their, you know, their helmet or whatever. And it's, it's a fad. That's all that it is. Um, people are all giddy about this and they want cops to wear cameras. And, you know, uh, people in the so-called liberty movement and so-called libertarians and all these people, they're all excited because cops are wearing cameras more and more. And they think this is going to do something. But, folks, I'm telling you, it means absolutely nothing. What if they do? What if they do? What if they put a camera on every single cop? Is it going to change the nature of what a cop is? Is it going to change the nature of the function that they serve? Because what what do they do? Cops are here to enforce the will of the elite, and that is it. They do not protect and serve you from squat. They protect and serve the elite, the lawmakers, the owners of society, the state. They are, they are nothing more than that. They are domestic military. That's all cops are. That's all they've ever been. And hanging a camera on them won't do one thing. If, if you think it's going to do something, just think about it for a second. So if, uh, let's say they put cameras on everybody and one in 500 cop brutality cases ends up in a conviction of a cop because of a cop cam, so what? It didn't change the overall picture of anything. It may have made that one situation better, but the overall thing didn't change. It's like, oh, I've got this huge cancerous tumor in my lung, so we're going to cut out one tiny little uh, piece of it and leave all the rest and pretend I'm better. That's what we're talking about. You know, it's an old Nazi thing. The Nazis would have no problem at all shooting one of their own. You know, if there were two Nazi spies and one of them got busted, one Nazi spy would shoot the other to show his loyalty rather than be exposed as a spy. So cops will sacrifice the occasional cop to preserve their system. That's all they're doing. That's all cop cameras are. It's an attempt to preserve this hideous system. It is not an aspect of a, of a way that we can reach freedom. It is not a, a libertarian thing. It's nothing. It's not striking at the root. It's a very, very public tilting at branches and leaves. You're out there swinging away at those leaves, but you're not touching the root. What if every single cop videotapes every single encounter? They lie now about planting evidence. They lie now about police brutality. They lie now. The one cop will lie to cover the other. Police chiefs will lie to cover the cops underneath them. Why do you think they wouldn't alter a video? You won't be able to, to, to believe anything that's on a cop video. But yet, they'll use this to convince the masses, to convince the public, oh yeah, see, we're doing it right. Everything's out in the open. Folks, taking the state's bait is not an honorable path. Taking the state's bait is not wisdom. Know your enemy. Know your enemy's capabilities. Know the way your enemy fights. And do not fight your enemy according to his choice of battlefield and his choice of weapons and his choice of timing. Know yourself. No one is best for you. The push for body cameras is just the latest attempt to salvage public opinion. An investment in body cameras for police just convolutes the underlying issue, the fact that police and the entire injustice system are based on coercion. While some individual police employees may mean well, their salaries, vehicles, buildings, and toys are all paid for by theft, 